All right, everyone, it happened. Roaring Kitty just streamed live, and here's the details. So he pretty much came on right from the beginning with a cast, with bandages everywhere, pretending that he was on life support, right? Just like the stock was today, being down, you know, 30, 40%. So before I get into the live stream, let me talk about what the news was on GameStop today. So GameStop pre-announced their earnings. Their earnings were scheduled for next Tuesday, and they pre-announced it today. Now, I have a thesis why they pre-announced it. So there is something called a blackout period in the stock market. And what that means is insiders of the company cannot sell their stock before earnings are released. So I think that they pre-released earnings so that the insiders like Ryan Cohen and the CFO, all these other people could start selling their stock into the abnormal move that GameStop made, right? Number two is GameStop announced a 75 million share at the market offering. So for new traders that don't know what an at, at the market offering means is that they could sell those 75 million shares at whatever price is on the market. So it's pretty much increasing supply into the market. If the stock is trading at 30, they'll sell a million shares. They're trading at 29, million shares, million shares, million shares. The thing about an ATM that you guys need to know is that ATMs are only effective if there is high volume on the stock. Why? It's because if there is not enough volume on the stock, the ATM, the sell pressure, pushes the stock price down, right? So it is in the company's best interest to use the ATM when there's high volume like today. So on top of that, so we have the company pre-announcing earnings, which were very, very bad earnings. The company announced a 75 million share at the market offering, which is about 20% of their market cap. A massive offering. This is three times the size of the offering they had a few weeks ago. And then on top of that, we had Roaring Kitty streaming at 12 p.m., right? So we have sell pressure from the negative earnings. We have sell pressure from the at the market ATM. And we have a potential sell pressure from Roaring Kitty stream, right? Have you ever heard buy the rumor, sell the news? This was that scenario of sell the new setup. Now, everyone was anticipating this stream. What was gonna happen? The stock is down 30%. Roaring Kitty, save us, save us, save us. Homie shows up 30 minutes late to his own stream. And the problem is that reduces confidence of the shareholders and the investors that all bought together for Roaring Kitty. Now, to save the stock, to save the company, Roaring Kitty had to come on and pretty much say something that people didn't know about. It had to be new news. It had to be something that wasn't already out there. It didn't have, maybe he added to his position. Maybe he's joining the company board of directors. Maybe he's doing X, Y, Z. We didn't know. So there was a lot of buy pressure into his stream. Stock went from 32 to 37. And then when he showed up late, boom, stock craters down to 31. Now, when he finally showed up to the stream, everyone was ready, everyone was waiting. What is he gonna say? Is he going to save the stock? What's gonna happen? And he pretty much came and said, I have no game plan. I may or may not sell my stock. Uh, I believe in the company. I have a long-term three-year vision for the company. But if you have a three-year vision, why did you buy monthly expiration options? So that didn't really make sense. And then when he was talking about the stock, he's like, I'm going to show you guys my portfolio. Everyone got excited. Everyone's like, maybe he added, maybe he exercised his options. Maybe he did something we didn't know about. In reality, he did nothing. And he's down $250 million today. Yesterday at the end of after hours, GameStop was trading around 60, $62. He was officially a billionaire yesterday around 8 PM. Then this morning, by the time his stream ended, he's left to 100 million. Now, don't get me wrong, 100 million is a lot of money, but Roaring Kitty had to come on today and give us something we didn't know. And when he didn't give us something we didn't know, stock started cratering. As I'm recording this, stock is down $27, right? It was $60, it's now down to 27. He's down $250 million on his position. So what does this mean for GameStop, right? Number one is maybe the insiders are going to do another offering and it's going to cause the stock to go down. Maybe Roaring Kitty is going to sell some of his options to buy more stock, to do more long-term holding, right? Because he said he had a three-year vision. But the entire reality was the stream was pretty much just a joke, right? He looked like he was high. He looked like he was drunk. He didn't look like he was had a plan. It sounds like he was pretty much just gambling. And don't get me wrong, gambling works 
unless you have an audience of nearly a million people watching his live stream. So what does his live stream mean for us? What does that mean for traders of GameStop? Well, for me, I had one of my biggest days of the month. I made $40,000 and I'm going to put a link in the description of my profit so you guys see it's real. I had a great day, right? Because in MIC, we teach something called buy the rumor, sell the news. So when we saw the earnings coming out early, when we saw the big ATM dilution, and when we saw Roaring Kitty stream wasn't doing as intended, man, this shit just went straight down and that's how we capitalized. So when I first started trading, I had a magical, mystical talent. Every single time I bought a stock, it would go straight down. I learned about something called short selling, where you could hit the short button instead of the buy button and make money when stocks go down. And that's how my career started. And today, I made money shorting GameStop. So call me paper hands, call me lettuce hands, call me a suit, call me whatever you want. I'm wearing a Mars t-shirt, so call me, you know? The whole point is that like, there's plenty of ways to make money. And if you are just focused on the buy side and not the short side, you can make money, but on opportunities like this, I'm sure people made six figures, seven figures, maybe even eight figures today. I made a measly 40,000 from my little closet office. But the point that I wanna say is Roaring Kitty disappointed us. He disappointed us. He did not give us what we wanted. He did not give traders what they wanted to see to have confidence on the stock. He said nothing. He has no plan. He is just gambling the entire time. So when you have that big of a following and you have this many people so confident in you and you let them down, the stock price shows it. So, I mean, Roaring Kitty obviously has way more money than me. I'd be very pissed if I was a billionaire last night and today I'm not. But we have to see how this is going to unfold because now it is very obvious that Roaring Kitty and GameStop are not working together. My thought process was he was going to exercise his options, become a 5% holder of the company, have voting rights, and force his way into activism in GameStop. But it does not look that way. He looks like he's just gambling. It looks like it worked the first time a few weeks ago. It's not really working this time. And I don't understand why he said he has a three-year vision for the company if he has short-term uh, options expiration coming up. So that really didn't make sense to me. Maybe he thought something was going to happen with earnings. It's not. But in my opinion, guys, GameStop is now a dud. It's not, it's not what it should have been. It should have. Hopefully, I, I was hoping it went to 100. I was hoping it went to 200, but it is not. So how can you capitalize on these trades? Well, also in the description, I'm going to uh, share you guys a link for my $29 watch list. So every single day I post a watch list at 9 a.m. And on my watch list today, I had GameStop too short as a sell the news. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, is for the first 10 people that sign up for the watch list, I'm going to be sending you guys an email of my personal contact that you could get on a mentorship call with me, right? These are for non-MIC members. So if you're interested in my daily momentum watch list, long and short side, Sign up in the link in the description. Now, what are we gonna do in the coming days of GameStop? Well, it all depends on the price action, right? Maybe Roaring Kitty's gonna come out with a tweet tonight that says, you know what, guys, I added. Or maybe he's gonna come out with a tweet and say, you know what, I changed my mind. Because on the live stream, he said, I reserve the right to change my mind, just like you. Now, I don't know if he had a lawyer in the room, I don't know if he had a suit in the room, but all I know, guys, is that this was completely disappointing he let all the traders down that were diamond hands on the stock and the stock price is showing it. it's still going down as we speak. So if I was a long-term GameStop holder, I'd be very upset, very happy that I made my 40,000. I'm going to include the links in the description. And what do you guys think about GameStop? Do you think his stream was good? Do you think he let everyone down? Do you think that this is just a trap? Leave a comment and let me know. And we'll kind of continue and see what is going on with this GameStop saga. We've made history, guys. Every This is historic. It has never been seen before. I've been trading for 10 years, made over $8 million trading. I've never seen anything like this before. So curious to see what happens. I'm really excited. This is going to be a crazy, crazy story, man.